You're gonna have to ignore the humidifier and other background noises. It's really hot outside and I am way too hot to try to make things super silent because then I would boil to death, I would overheat, and eventually I would... <laughs> Water. You know, the planet is full of it. 75% of this planet is covered by water. 80% of the population lives by water. 90% of the trade in the world goes by water. Fun facts. You need water to survive. In fact, you need three major things to be able to survive. You need air, water, and food. Remember the rules of three. Three minutes without air, you're dead. Three days without water, you're dead. Three weeks without food, you dead. Now, when it comes to preparing for an emergency, the hardest thing to store and keep is water because it is so heavy, so cumbersome, takes up a lot of space. It's just a plain pain in the neck. Just think of all the things that you use water for. You use it to clean. You use it to drink. You use it to wash dishes. I guess that would be cleaning. You use it to cook. There's a lot of things you use it for. When times are normal, the average American at least uses about 200 gallons of water per day. Per person, per day. That's because water is clean and it's an abundant resource for us in this part of the planet. I am very thankful to be living in a part of the planet where we have access to unlimited clean water. It's just a fact that not many people have that and they tend to not take it for granted when we do. But what happens when the water stops flowing? You go to your faucet, you open it up, there's no water coming out. This may have happened due to a thunderstorm, an earthquake, a hurricane, some sort of man-made disaster that stops the water from coming into your house. Do you have enough water to keep your family going for at least a few days, at best maybe a month or more? Now FEMA and the Red Cross recommend that you store one gallon of water per person per day for at least three days. They also recommend if you're sheltering in place to have enough water stored to last you and your family two weeks. Now that's a tall order. They say in their own documentation, store at least one gallon per person per day. Consider storing at least a two week supply of water for each member of your family. Wow. That means if you have a family of four, you need at least four gallons of water every day. A two week supply of water for a family of four is 64 gallons. What a hassle. Now keep in mind, that's just the bare minimum. You're still gonna need to flush toilets, wash wounds. There's a lot of things you're going to need that water for. Look, if this overwhelms you, don't worry about it. Just store as much as you can. If you live in a 600 square foot studio apartment in New York, you're probably not going to fit 64 gallons of water in that apartment. Just store the water the best way you know how. You can get creative. There's lots of creative ways to store this water. You can put this water in your pantry, for example, stack it up in a certain way. You can also take water in a pinch from your hot water tank. You can store them under your couch, under your bed. You can store them in all sorts of creative places in and around the house. When you have a supply of water that will last you at least two weeks, that's an essential part of surviving an emergency, a crisis that you will not have to worry about. There will be no need for you to wait in a big long line at a FEMA camp or a Red Cross shelter. You won't have to have that stress of trying to get water that you need for your family because it's already in your house and you have access to it. Now, as helpful as these places, these shelters might be, you wanna see if you can avoid them if you can because when you go to those places, you're not necessarily in control of where you're going, who's in charge, what's gonna to happen to your supplies, what your family's gonna do. Being able to be self-reliant during an emergency, whether it's a weather event, a man-made event, whatever the case is, helps you to be a solution to the problem and not part of the problem, waiting in line because you weren't ready for something like this. So what does this look like? What's a real example of having water stored in your home, preferably for a couple weeks or longer? I'm so glad you asked. Let's take a look. Now, ignore the fact that the humidifier may just turn on by itself. I don't care. It's super hot down here. It's super humid. I need that to stay on. Now, don't get yourself stressed out about how much water, what kind of water you should get. Remember, store as much as you can. Something like this is about seven gallons of water. This is an Aquatainer brand. You can get them online. You can get them at the store. They're pretty easy to find. Something like this, when filled up, is very heavy. However, it is still portable. So in the unlikely event that you did have to leave your home, okay, there it goes. You grab some. You can just grab one of these tanks here put them in the car and go. This right here is about 56 gallons of water. That would last me and my family about two weeks. Now what I also have done to supplement is this 55 gallon barrel. 
Now you can store water in here if you treat it properly and it will last you for years. So 56 gallons plus 55 gallons comes out to about 111 gallons of water. If we use two gallons of water per person per day, not one gallon, this should last us, me and my family, it should last us about 27 days or about a month. Now, as I continue filming away from that humidifier or dehumidifier, dehumidifier, let's remember this. Storing bottled water is actually a pretty good idea for the short term. If you're going to rotate that bottled water out and you're not just going to keep that bottled water on the shelf for like 15 years, it's actually a pretty sharp idea because that water can also go with you if you have to leave. It's also pretty convenient. You just snatch it up and drink it. You don't have to worry about trying to siphon it out of a barrel or anything like that. Keep in mind though, for long-term storage, probably not a good idea as that plastic eventually will uh, begin to break down and seep into the water. You probably don't want to drink that stuff after that. So to wrap up here, there's a lot of stuff that could cause the water system to just become kaput. It's a simple ice storm that knocked out the water in Texas. You could read up on other examples of similar scenarios. So again, don't panic. Don't rush out there and buy a 600 gallon drum that you're gonna bury in the backyard. Don't worry about that. Don't, don't try to stress yourself out. Wherever you are in life, wherever you live, store as much as you can. Just having that extra bit will provide insurance. If something were to happen, you'd be ready. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for today. We'll see you in the next video. If you liked what you saw today, hit that subscribe button. If you hated it, uh, share it with an enemy. I think uh, that'll probably be the best thing for you to do. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.